Hi everyone, in this video I am just going to explain how to pass your dynamic variables in this, for example, in this, this is the table right row and column, I am going to pass the dynamic variables here. That means I am going to set the variables here instead of uh, giving number. So just we will go and look our script here. I have just copied the xpath. This is an absolute xpath. So I got it and uh, I pasted it now. Now it shows the row number 3 by 3. So, so the row 3, column 3. So it's, I'm going to get the text first. So just this is an just example that we have already seen in the our previous video. So here the 3, 3, I have set the row variables here in the string. In Selenium, and the string will work as a number here. I mean, I'm just going to delete this number and double quotes and double plus so this is the connector right so i am using this plus so for the same way double quote double plus in send middle and just putting the column so it's fine now so it will pass the variable here i can show you now uh, once before the print i am going to run this in debug mode pressing f11 okay I can show you the value now. So it's now in debug mode. So I'll have here one, two, three, one, two, three. Say one, two, zero, two, six, five is the answer. Here we'll see that whether it, it got fetched perfectly. Yes, the X row is equal to three. The same way. The column also is equal to 3. It's good. So I'm going to press F8 to print this. Yes, it's print. It's done. Then now what I'm going to do is uh, the next thing. Instead of uh, I'm removing this. Now I'm going to set the variable here. Like string. Because think this is think imagine this is the recommend. I want this James name and I want to pick this name if it is equal to James I know I I want to print the complete um, column so what I'm going to do is string so uh, second row value equal to why we need to give like this second row value second row value equal to James right so James I will set this variable now I'm gonna call it in for loop int i equal to uh, one sorry I get rid than three a plus plus iterations so here the string I'm just setting this um, value equal to null here in the result row value right so I'm going to fetch this try on dot find I'm just going to copy paste this here Before that, I want some absolute path for that. So I can take this James um, inspect element with fire bug. What is that? I need fire path, right? So good. So sorry, I want this row right. So okay, in fire path. Okay, it's good. Um, sorry. G1. So I'm just gonna give it here now. Find element by x path dot get text. Here I can even 
can do this perfectly. Why should I? Really, why shouldn't I do this? I'm sorry. This. I'm doing this now. But I need to select this to one value. Row is two. The value is one. So I change it. Now it's perfect. The string row value I need to copy paste here. Okay. Done. Now I am in the within the for loop. I am just verifying uh, with if condition if result row value equal to sorry chat chat equals even I can uh, equals no case equals is here the what the second row value I'm just giving here um, then now it's gonna work the condition if the second row value it's matching with this James then I'm going to gonna another loop now because I want to print it right so here int g equal to 1 j equal to 5 sorry uh, it's night um, it's 3 right so 1 2 3 I think equal is fine here also we should put equal yeah, g plus plus okay here g plus plus then again I came with another for loop, right? So here, I'm going to string, sorry, result column value equal to the same thing, like what we did now. Right here, I'm not going to change anything here. Yeah, just I am giving the I value here the G but G is called column right so G value yes we got it now exactly the result so here what I done the changes now so just I took this until uh, the row I so the first one I picked it the text so I'm just verifying whether it's equivalent to or not I mean checking with the if condition then again I am opening for follow for column so here in the string value I am expecting the result to column value with I and G so it's just printing it once it's printed, the condition satisfied. The if is break. Uh, I mean, um, I am just breaking it with the for loop. So it, it is not doing anything. That's it. Uh, this is the best example for this particular. I mean, uh, table selection in the particular row or column selection. So hope this video is very helpful. That's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please provide your comments and feedbacks in my video forms. Thank you. Bye.